Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today, we're going to be looking at TB Voice Picture. It's an awesome AUV3 plugin. I'm really excited about it. But first, this week's featured artist continues on as Gary Hubs, and this is Into the Pit. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Let me say it again, hippie. Boom. What's going on, everybody? Gary Hubs, get into the pit. It's just called Into the Pit. But get in there, man. Get into the pit. So, Gary Hubs, uh, there you go. Featured uh, artist this week. There's a pinned comment up the top in the chat. If you want to click and go to his YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button for more. Or there is a link to his, um, what is it called? The Song Whip channel, where you can go and stream his music on sound. On oh, no, Spotify, Apple Music, all the stuff, all the places. 
Boom. Exactly, hippie. Uh, so welcome to the show, everybody. My name is Jay. This is how to app on iOS. I'm really excited about today because we've got a super, super cool app. It's really cheap and it's worth your time if you uh, are looking for something cool for your vocals. As a vocalist, I always get excited about brand new apps like this because this is simple to use, high quality, and it's cheap as chips. And what do we do on this show? Well, you know what? Every day we look at apps, creativity, making music, video, whatever it is that floats your boat, but mostly using iOS. And uh, we have shows on mental health and well-being. We've got one of those coming up this week, and it's on the topic of fun. Good old-fashioned fun. Are you having fun making music? I hope so, because you should be, uh, whatever it is you're creating. Um, also, uh, do live streams on the weekend with live performances by myself and all that jazz. Let's say hello to folks in the chat and we'll get down to today's app because it's good, man. It's good. Uh, SM Borthwick, hello to you. Thomas Christ, Sai, always effing good to see you. Uh, JDL, hello, my friend. Uh, Gary Hubs is here. Do Welcome, Dr. Zorders. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, David Collette, hello to you also. I hope you are well. Uh, let's go through. Cold Acre, man, what is happening? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us early in the morning here in Australia. Australia, man. Uh, Brad Example, hello to you. Uh, anyone else I may have missed? Patrick Chandler, hello, my friend. I was only listening to your music last night before I went to bed. I was listening to a bit of Chandler Brothers bit of Chandler Brothers. Who knows? They may be our featured artists next week. There you go. There's a scoop. Um, all righty. Uh, let's, what do we talk about? Let's do price drops, shall we? Now, nothing's changed actually from yesterday. So there's not really not much to report, except I do want to talk about, um, so we'll go through these apps. Hello, Francis, the paddled, pad, paddled? The paddled pedal room. That's a paddling. Yep. That's a paddling. Mm -hmm. That's a paddling. The padded pedal room. <laughs> I don't know where I got the paddled <laughs> That's a paddling. Mm -hmm. um, Simpsons reference. Sorry, guys. Uh, so Neon Audio Editor is on sale. Digi Sticks 2. Jazz Chords. Uh, it's free. Skid. Same stuff from yesterday. All the core gaps. Most of the core gaps are on sale. And they are half price in-app purchases. So... If you already have something like a uh, uh, module, if you already have module, go in and have a look because you'll see all the in-app purchases are half price. And same with uh, Gadget as well. Uh, Steering in my sandals. That's a bad one. Absolutely. It's cold acres on it. <laughs> cold acres on the Simpsons reference. That's a bad one. Rhino is on sale still. Mammoth still on sale, man. I, I hope they keep them on sale forever. Um, but there is something else I also want to talk about. So you may have seen these articles popping up lately about Apple um, shutting down apps that have not been updated. And uh, it's not a cool thing. It's something that they've just implemented recently. So what's happening is developers uh, are finding their apps are being removed from the stores because they haven't updated them in, say, a year even though they're still working. It's a problem, man. And it, there's been a fair bit of coverage about it. And I really hope that uh, Apple start to, you know, sort this out because uh, I, it's, it's interesting that they're doing it to music apps. I, I understand it with game apps because game apps are, are, get out of date quite easily. You know, people like tend to make a lot of these free in-app purchase game apps uh, to cash in on like the latest trend, like something like Flappy Bird. If you guys remember Flappy Bird, there was like a million clones of Flappy Bird. What's my camera doing today? There we go. We'll move that. A million versions of Flappy Bird. And then all these people just made all these uh, versions of it for free. And then they never updated them again. So for things like that, I understand Apple removing those apps. But for music apps, I really don't get it. So I really hope um, something is sorted about that. Anyway, you can probably find articles on it if you have a look. Uh, check out, uh, just do a search on Google for like Apple removing apps, old apps from the App Store. And you will find articles on it. It's an interesting th thing, and I don't know why Apple are being so hardcore on it. It's kind of stupid. All right, um, what are we looking at today? Let's talk about it. TB Voice Picture by Tone Boosters. Tone Boosters make some incredible apps, and this one is beyond incredible, in my opinion. 
It's a five star for me. It's something that I'm uh, going to already put up there in the, my top five apps of this year. Probably up there either number two or three at the moment. As you can see, the price is US only three bucks ninety nine for what this can do. Three bucks ninety nine. It's way too cheap. Um, Australian, it's about five ninety nine. Now I purchased my copy. I didn't get a free copy from uh, Tone Boosters. I couldn't wait for it because whenever a new Vocal app comes out, I dive on that shit like a seagull on a chip, yeah? Um, so, yeah. And I was very pleasantly surprised. So let's jump in and have a look at it, shall we, and see the magic it can do for vocals. I'm going to just grab my extra mic. Hello, Russ. So you sneak in there. Sneaky Russ has snuck in. Um, so I've got an extra mic. Let me bring this into the shot. Look at that. Oh, we got an extra mic. We got two mics today. Okie dokie. So I'm going to open this up first in AUM just because AUM is great for showing off the app. And then what we'll do afterwards is we'll open it up in GarageBand on a project um, that I should have finished by now. We'll talk about that, I guess. Um, so I'm going to add an audio track here. And we're going to um, choose my mini fuse. Uh, interface and we're going to choose track two because that's what my microphone is plugged into hello 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 do we have sound why do i not have sound what is happening oh it's in track one there we go hello, hello. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go so uh, we'll just turn that down for a second and now i'm going to bring in a tb so uh, what is it? Voice. There it is. Voice picture. Let's have a look at the interface, shall we? Okie doke. Now, uh, what I really love about this off the bat is the interface is very, very simple to understand. It may look a bit confusing when you first open it up, but trust me, when I run through everything from left to kind of right, you'll, you'll see it's very simple to use. First thing I want to show you at the top right-hand corner, you can see this little section up here says Ice Blue. Now in here, you can, you get all these selections for how you'd like it to look. Whoa, that's garish, man. Holy hell. Yeah, it burns. <laughs> Too bright. Um, so you've got all these different colors. Let's find one that suits. I kind of like that one. I like it when um, apps put in these kind of things to uh, suit your eyes. That's a nice one too. The the Delft Blue, Lime, Honey Lust. Ooh, dirty. Charcoal, that's a pretty cool one. Uh, espresso. So there's a heap of different ones here. Avocado, Lemon. Lemon. Icy Blue. Mocha latte. The names are interesting. Wow, there's so many different colors in here, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I could sit here and just do this all day. What do you think? Anyway, that's the end of the review, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll leave it on this Delft, Delft Blue, I think. Okie dokie. So uh, firstly, up the top here in uh, this little default, where it says default up there, this is where all your presets are. So you just click on there, and it brings you to your presets page. We'll talk about those in a second. All right, and we'll start down here in the bottom left. So you've got two uh, separate mic channels here, and you can see this one's already turned on, section A. You can turn this off and on. So just by clicking the button and it's on. Hello, Dave Fox, good to see you. Anyway, don't think I've missed anyone else in the chat. And over here, you've got section B. So you can have two of these sections turned on. Hello, Leela, I hope you are well. All right, let me switch over to my other microphone. Move that one. And bring this one into the shot. Hello, uh, hello, 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 there we go. Um, what's happening? Where'd my mic go? Hello, hello, hello. hello. Oh, 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 there, there we go. go. Hello. So, so I've, I've got, got a little, little bit of delay, delay at, at the moment. moment. Let me just turn that off. And the reason would be just because I've got some things open as well. Okay. So, right. 
I should go back to this mic for now. Okie doke. So, um, let's turn that off. So, with this section here, we have a, uh, in the left-hand side and the right-hand side, we have a pitch here. So, you can turn this pitch, so up to one complete octave, lower, higher, and you can go one octave completely down, lower. So, there you go, there's your pitch. And you also have a formant up in the top corner, which uh, formant is used more to create like a male or female kind of formant tone in your voice. Then you have a tune here. So this is like a semitone kind of uh, light light tuning. Hello, uh, Pete Johns. Anyone else I've missed? I don't think so. Hello, I hope you're doing well, Pete. Uh, then you have this delay down here and a pan. So we'll bring this mic back in and show you exactly what this pitch shifter does. Hello. Hello. All right, let's turn up the pitch shifter. Ah, well, I can see you. La, 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 la. So, what's really good about it, this pitch shifter is that it sounds really good, okay? So, like all pitch shifters, uh, you need to remember, when you're recording live with a pitch shifter, you will get a bit of latency with them. So, you're going to hear that latency today. But where, where this really shines is adding this once you finish your tracks. That's where it absolutely shines. But you can record it uh, live, but you will get latency. And it just is a thing with all pitch shifting apps or harmonizers and things like that. So, let's go back and show you the formant. So, you'll hear the variation in formant. So we've got our pitch set to normal, and now we'll turn the formant up. Uh, now you can't hear much difference, but when I turn this up a little bit, it. Uh, there is a slight variation with the formant. Yes? Let's add a bit, a bit of delay. There we go. Oh! Um. As I briefly explained, uh, Leela, formant is, uh, it, it's like a, how do I explain it? Uh, it? It changes kind of like the the tonality of the pitch. Yeah, so it creates like a, you can create like a male or female kind of formant with, with the formant. You'll see as we go further into it. So you can see that the controls are fairly easy to use here. Let me just get out of this again. Okay. So let's uh, now. Over up the top here, you've got a level A and a level B. So you can actually control the amount of pitch shifting in, in each of these. So if we turn this up here, you should still be able to hear a little bit. Of now you can't hear my voice, but if we bring this up, you can hear all of what's going on. Now you have this, this little tune button here. So let's hold down a note. So that's like a se semitone kind of ch uh, small tune in there. You also have a freeze button. Check this out. If I hold down my, if I just hold a note, uh, so if you, <laughs> if you want to hold down really, really long notes. <laughs> I want to love you. <laughs> you can cheat. 
really, really fun stuff. But you can also add a second channel over here at B. So now I've turned off B and you'll hear there's two vocals happening. So this is really good for double vocals. But let's uh, turn this formant to zero and let's bring this pitch down to three and, and then we'll turn this pitch up to th up to three uh, and you can start creating harmony uh, uh. Also, what's cool is the panning. So we can pan the two different sounds left and right. right. So now we have a low pitch in the left side and a high in the right side. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, baby. <laughs> and... You can actually, with the mix button in the middle, you can take out and or bring down the harmonies so you can hear the main voice. Let's bring this panning back. So now you can hear my natural voice and then we can bring in these harmonies. And it's surprisingly really good, yeah? So, yeah, I, I assume you can, you know, I'm just going to turn off this mic for a second. Let's do this. Uh, boom. Hello. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, so um, I'm, I assume you can use it with guitar. I haven't tried it. But, yeah, anything that you can play a note to, you can harmonize this with. Basically, it is made for vocals. So, um, now, what's really cool about uh, this, so you've got these two sections down here. Pretty, uh, hope you understand the formant. We've got a delay here. So if you are experiencing a little bit of uh, a delay there, you can actually mess with the delay and try and catch things up. But as I said, this is best used, of course, always these kind of vocal effects are best used after you've recorded your dry mix. That's where they're going to shine. So in the middle, we have this snapshot selector, which is really wicked. So with each preset that you like, we're in a default preset right now. I can go in here and click across and set four separate sounds. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, let's go into, so you can see um, snapshot one has the pitch low at five and high at five, if we go into, and if I want to copy this, I can just hold down on it and drag it to the next page. Now we have copied these across. So now I can go in here and change the low to maybe, we can go to seven and we'll bring the, uh, sorry, the high to seven and the low to there. Um, then we can go drag this across over into number three. And now we can take three and we can bring that down a full 12 and this up a full 12. And we can drag this across over here. And uh, instead for this one, we'll change the panning for this to 100 and 100. So now when I bring the mics back. So here are all four of these la, 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 la. and you can f switch between them very very easily la, la, la.
<laughs> Crazy shit, man. All right. <laughs> Let's have a look at the LFOs. So these also have LFOs built into them, which really can create some interesting things. Um, now, the LFOs, are, we'll cover the LFOs first, and then we'll go into the, uh, you've got an EQ in the middle here as well. So each of these have an LFO. Now, if I turn this on, you can see now we have a LFO of a, a nice, what, nice little hill there going along. Yeah, and if we go through them, we've got a sine. So we've got a cosine, a saw up, saw down, a square, triangle, pulse. And there's a heap of these in here. Look, steps. So you can imagine what this is going to do to vocal. This can create some really crazy things. So we'll go back to the beginning, to the sign. And we'll attach this to the pitch. So underneath here, you can attach this uh, uh, LFO to the pitch. So now we'll just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we'll use this one track here. Go to sign. Add, add it to the pitch. Now... Whoa. So we can change the, the speed of the LFO. <laughs> no. You can add pan to the LFO. No. <laughs> Let's run through. Oh, that's that's messing with my head. Bad. Let's run through some of the different uh, LFOs. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> let's let's take out the pitch a little bit. La <laughs> Crazy stuff. Look at this one. So, let's just take that off. So, as you can expect, you can create some pretty chaotic things with this. Uh, what's David say? Jay, is there a single LFO for those four effects? Um, so, it's just this. This is the LFO here. So, you control the speed and the phase here. So, you can move this along. And then you decide which uh, effects you, you add to the LFO. So... That's the way it works. Now, I'm sure, too, um, because you have, uh, what do we have uh, here in the, do we have everything unlocked? Not really. Main, so we've got the snapshots you can play with. Let's go back. Oh, man, go back. Uh, presets, plugins. Yeah, there's not really much else there, only presets. So the, the, there's not really much you can do inside there. Um, all right, let's talk about the, uh, the so yeah, look, there's so many uh, different LFO presets, and you can use it for both of them. So you've got one over here. This one controls section A, and this one controls section B. Now, you also have um, a, an EQ, which is nice. We shall bring this back in. So Hello. So, so we, we have, have we, we can, can add, add some, some bass. bass. This, this is, is wow, wow, how cool is that? that? Hello, baby. Uh, there we go. Now we've got a bit of high and a bit of mids. So we can pull pull the high down. And what's really cool is 
you, you see, see when I hold my finger, finger down, down I'll show you with, um, hang on, let's do this. Too many microphones. <laughs> I'll show you with uh, the screen here. So when you hold down on a node, you can actually pinch and you can uh, spread out the uh, node, yeah? So you can do that with all of these. So you've got a fair bit of options with your, with your EQ. So you can really get in there and do some notch filtering, yeah? So that, that's really cool as well. That's a nice little addition in there to be able to play with the notch filtering. And I love it when you, when you actually start moving things around so you can actually select all of them at once and move them all together. So that's a nice little additional thing that's hidden in there. Really cool. Um, just, just a really, you know, this is a really well made up and it's very simple to understand and, and, and just works really nicely. Let's go through some presets because there's heaps of them. Yeah, so hopefully you understand how to use this. You've got your snapshot selector that you can flick through here. All right. Let's bring back this. So, we'll go to some uh, deep tune stuff. Ha, this is a mono detuning This, this is a, a uh, factory moving along detune, so we've actually got LFOs attached to this. Whoa, ma, ha, ha, yeah. Uh, this is a faster one. Whoa, ma. So I just want to say on this uh, point, what's really good, um, got to turn this off. What's really, really cool. Let's bring this main screen back here. Sorry about that. What's really cool about the LFO, you, know, you may be thinking, why is there an LFO on, on there? Where it really comes in and, and works really well is on a low, low kind of speed when you're creating a double vocal effect. Because if you know, uh, when you're trying to create double vocals in something like GarageBand, you normally down tune the second. If you Say if you're copying, you don't want to record two of the, the two vocal tracks. You just want to copy the one vocal track into your next track. There's that trick where you can move it back a little bit and detune it a little. Adding these LFOs creates a variation between the two vocal tracks. Really interesting for uh, creating double vocals. Uh, let's go back to some presets here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Uh, whoa, my, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got some freeze effects in here. This is called a vocal freezer. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Wow, oh my, let's play with some harmonizers. What's really cool also is with some of these presets, when you open them up, you get a whole bunch of snapshots in there. So you can see as I'm clicking through the snapshots, there's different, uh, different settings. So I'll show you what I mean. Whoa. As a side note, I want to show you something else. When you're in AUM here, 
Um, this is uh, $3.99 US. It's cheap, man. It's so cheap. Uh, a coffee costs more. Uh, if you notice here, what's really cool, see um, in AUM this little slider here? This is normally, when you add an effect into AUM, you normally get something like a, uh, you can turn up, if it's a reverb app, you can turn up the reverb from here. But what's really ace about this, this actually controls the snapshots. So as you go through them, it flicks through the snapshots. I'll share what I mean. I think this is awesome. So, uh... Interesting that they've added that in there to cha change. Nice. So that's one of the harmonizers. This is three chords. Whoa, my. Yeah. Really nice stuff. stuff. Um, what, what have we got? got? So, so we've got, got some pitch shifted stuff, stuff here. here. This will be fun. fun. Hello, hello there. Um, my name, name is Deep Voice. Voice. Uh, um, this, this is, is uh, three semitones semi up. <laughs> Let's change the formant a little bit. Ah, uh, hello, hello. So you'll see with the formant. With 0%, I sound a little bit more childlike, but if I turn this up a little bit, it gets a, just a little bit deeper. So the formant is like a fine tuning to a male or female kind of voice. Yeah, well, I can feel it, yeah. So you should be able to hear with the formant. I start, I start to sound more. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, yeah, oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, are we back? Where's my voice gone? Here we go. Um, thank you, David. For the kind super chat. That's really cool. Thank you so much, my friend. Um, Gary says, I'm guessing this works best with clean vocals and less so with gritty vocal styles. Are you kidding me, Gary? I'm saving the best to last, man. You wait till you hear what it does for metal. Oh, my Lord. The best is coming. Um, I'm just warming up. <laughs> uh, let's go through some more of these. Uh, we'll go through these uh, uh, presets and then we'll jump in and open it on maybe a Desir track. Yeah. Hello, oh, three semitones up. Hello. So this particular one, it's four banks. La 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 la. Nice. Pitch shift. Five semitones down. Roar! Shit, yeah. Hello, black covers. Nice to see you. Ingo, it's really nice to see you. Uh, this is 50 cents down, 50 cents up. Seven semitones down. Oh, yeah, baby. Seven semitones up and a pitch shift pass through. Uh, we've got factory preset. Now we've got some vocal effects here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. And we got some vocal doubling. 
Yeah! Yeah, I feel it! Yeah, yeah! Well, I feel it! Yeah! My Lord! Yeah! This microphone. All right. So hopefully you got the gist of it. Pretty damn cool. There's a lot of uh, really great stuff you can do with this. Let's get out of AUM and let's show you it in the wild. Yeah. Let's let's use it in the wild on some music, on some pre-recorded stuff, because that is, as I said, where it really shines. Absolutely shines. We'll open up a Desir track here. And I'll tell, I'm going to be honest with you, I've been struggling finishing my the Desir album due to health and all this stuff with my vocals and stuff and being able to maintain the amount of growls I need for the final tracks of this album. This app is actually going to help me get through. And you can see here with a lot of, these are the vocals for one of the Desir tracks. So we're, look, we're talking all of these, all to get uh, all my death growls. I can actually change this now and use this one app to get three parts in growls. Let's have a listen to the track with all the music in here. Make sure we're not too loud. Ride. So let's just take the start of that. Let's solo out that vocal track and uh, we'll bring in that effect. So we'll go in here, we'll get rid of this uh, effect EQ because it does nothing. And we'll scroll all the way to the bottom where we can find, uh, where are you, voice picture. And now uh, we'll take this back to the start. We'll find this growl here. And what do we do? Let's just randomly, we'll bring a pitch down to three. And we'll take this pitch up to th up to three. Make sure they're both selected. I think we're good. And let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Without. Um, let's... So here it is by itself. Wow. So even if we bring this down to like a seven, we'll bring this down to seven. We'll keep this at three. <laughs> Jesus Christ, hell incarnate. Let's listen to the vocals now with it. So if you're looking for that perfect evil dead voice of Dolly under the cellar door going, Ashley, there you go. Now, normally uh, I could, I would normally use three vocal tracks. So here are the three vocal tracks to try and attain the same effect. Bow down to the power of her. Let's add it in. Fall down, seal your own vein. Run to the smell of what you can. Jesus. You are the boy marching forward for the chaos bringer. Okay, shall we hear it with the music? <laughs> Holy shit. Nice. Let's uh, have a listen.
over dry It's time to play Humanity is just a shit stain On the bottom of a shell So even in here Let's solo this vocal out here Destruction is the only way Roll the dice, it's time to play but actually, we want this one. So if we add this to this track here, we'll go in and edit that, drop out this effect, just to get a really demonic um, second vocal in there. Just to complement, you watch the difference of this. Where are we? Uh, voice picture. Let's have a listen to it. Humanity is just a shit stain on the bottom of a show. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so these two vocals no together. Destruction is the only way. Roll the dice, it's time to play. Humanity is just a shit stain on the bottom of the shoe. Obliteration of a race, nothing more than a waste of space. Humanity has had its chance, now it's time to lose. <laughs> hear it with the music. <laughs> Absolutely, Thomas. It does beat gargling with nails and gravel. Um, so you can create a really cool growl, even here, if I just show you just by doing a growl in here let's um see where can we do this um at the end of the track let's just add in a new vocal track shall we da -da 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 um clean and i'm not going to put any effects on this clearly um, i need to use the other mic so flick over Hello, hey, here we go. So, start recording. Destruction is the only way. All the night is time to play. Medicine is just a shit scene on the bottom of the queue. Liberation of our race. Nothing more than a waste of space. Right, so I tried to mix up the vocals there to put a bit of singing in there as well. And let's see what we can do with this vocal. So we'll just pop in here, add the effect. And um, audio unit extension, please. Um, there you are. Voice picture. Recording. Let's go. Destruction is the only way. Roll the dice, it's time to play. Humanity is just a shitting on the bottom of that. Revelation of our race. Oh, I know that our race does play. Oh, 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 Destruction is the only way. Roll the dice, it's time to play. Humanity is just a shit scene on the bottom of our shoe. Obliteration of our race. Nothing more than a waste of space. Murderers, now it's time to lose. Fuck it out. So from only one vocal like that, that last one there, you can hear that the best. That's where you can really hear it shine there. That last vocal, now it's time to lose. Now it's time to you are creating three vocal tracks uh, in there very beautifully. If we even just go over here and choose a preset, like uh, the doubling, a doubling preset. Let's just add that. 
Destruction is the only way. Roll the dice, it's time to play. It should Melody cut through the mix more. Just a shit scene on the bottom of my back. Liberation of our race. Nothing more than a waste of space. But I'll be a dead in the Now it's time to live. Sweet. I think this app is fucking tits, man. <laughs> my new saying of this week this app is absolute tits i need to delete this um it's just for 3.99 it's an absolute no-brainer absolute no-brainer um as you as you heard like it works great with singing it works great with growls uh, it it's not a pitch corrector so make sure you keep that in mind this is not a pitch corrector this is not going to fix your vocals the you know the when it comes down to it on, on ios there really isn't anything that can fix your vocals Okay, um, unless you're using something like Melodyne on a PC or Mac, that's the ultimate item to fix vocals. And if you're actually uh, recording vocals uh, with the thought of trying to fix them afterwards, then you're doing it wrong. I'm sorry to tell you that because you want to get it like you want to get the vocal takes down first and then add your stuff to it later. And uh, you don't you can't you don't want to fix it in the mix. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. Um Leela says, oh my God, you're going to laugh so hard. I already own this app. Did you mention it once in passing? Yeah, I did. I, I, I remember you buying it, Leela, on the Patreon this week. Just gone. Remember, I showed it off on the Patreon and you grabbed it there. There you go. So, uh, <laughs> yes, Thomas, absolutely. This is absolute tits and everybody loves tits. I love tits. So there you go. <laughs> Good, good stuff. I can't recommend it enough. I'm, I'm definitely going to be using it uh, this weekend to uh, try some stuff out. And we'll, I'll probably be using it in my, my Dread Circus song that I'm recording. Awesome. What do we got coming up tomorrow on the show? Uh, sound off. Hey, if you enjoyed the show today, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you're watching on the replay, sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think of this app. I think it's really cool. Hope you do too. Remember, apps aren't Pokemon. You don't need to collect them all, but there's not a lot of good vocal apps around. So when they do come, I try and jump on them. And, and, and if they're good, they're worth talking about. And this one absolutely is. Tomorrow is going to be an interesting show because we are looking at an app called Ape Matrix. And it's a tough one because it's uh, it's quite complicated. And I'm going to try and be as gentle as possible with it tomorrow and just run over the basics. And then over the coming weeks, we shall investigate it more and more. But it's a very, very powerful app, kind of like AUM. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow. See you later, David. Thank you for joining us today. Have a good one. And as I mentioned earlier, guys, at the end of this week, when there's no interview this week, we are talking fun. We are doing a Wart series, and I'm going to get up here. We're going to talk about music and creation and fun. Are you having fun making music? Are you having fun releasing music? Are you having fun collabing with people? Are you having fun listening and watching other people's music? Because it's the most important thing if you are creating. If you're not having fun, then you're doing it wrong. Yeah? <laughs> totally doing it wrong so we'll talk about fun this week i think it's it's important to uh remind ourselves and that's what i try and do with these shows uh, about these kind of topics to remind yourself about fun or, or uh, anxiety or all the things we've covered in these uh, 17 episodes of the wart series if you have missed any of these wart series remember there is a playlist on the channel you can go back and go through playlists and check out all the previous ones we've done on anxiety and depression all this kind of stuff we've covered um so yeah there you go. Uh, that's it. I can let you know now we're going to have something special next month with some guest speakers on the show. We're going to have like a, a special thing. We just started to talk about it today and I think you guys are going to love it. At the end of next month, we're going to have a very special show with a bunch of special guests talking about creativity and stuff. stuff. I think you're really going to enjoy it. And they're people you know very well from within this music community. So keep your eyes peeled for that. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. This is the end of the show. You guys rock, as always. Thank you, Thomas, for posting a link to the Patreon. You can become a Patreon from as little as a dollar a month. Uh, $5 a month, uh, $5 each month Patreons. This week, we have some cool giveaways. So make sure you check your Patreon. 
good stuff. All right, we'll see you later. Have a great day. Do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And remember, we all rise together. And I will see you tomorrow. Adios, amigos.